Penny and I have begun our little tango. Our, our tango? The carnal repartee, the erotic to and fro, but as delicious as the appetizer might be, at some point we will have to succumb and eat the entree while it's still... <laughs> Hot. <laughs> I'm begging you, stop talking. Look, normally I can just ignore you. I mean, I get it, you're a little peculiar, you know, like Sheldon. Excuse me, Penny, but in this room, you're the one who's peculiar. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. <laughs> but back to you. I know you think you're some sort of smooth-talking ladies' man, but the truth is you are just pathetic and creepy. Um... So what are you saying? I am saying it is not a compliment to call me doable. It is not sexy to stare at my ass and say, ooh, it must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. <laughs> and most important, we are not dancing a tango. We're not, we're not to-ing and fro -ing. Nothing is ever going to happen between us, ever. Wait a minute. This isn't flirting. You're serious. Flirting? You think I'm flirting with you? I am not flirting with you. No woman is ever going to flirt with you. You're just going to... Grow old and die alone. Thanks for the heads up. Howard, where are you going? I'm going home to live my creepy, pathetic life. And then when I was 14, <laughs> I met Marcy Grossman. She was so beautiful. She just got her braces off, but they left a little of the overbite. <laughs> It was so hot. <laughs> like a sexy little chipmunk. <laughs> I didn't have the courage to ask her out, but I dedicated a song to her at the ninth grade talent show. Oh, that sounds sweet. Marcy Grossman is sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day when it's cold outside. Marcy Grossman is the month of May. Oh, it's cute. I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way? Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, talking about Marcy. That's great. Grossman. Oh, it's fun. And then she came up with that sexy little chipmunk mouth and spit in my hair. Which brings us to 10th grade. Howard, do you think maybe sometimes you try too hard? <laughs> Look at me. What chance do I have if I don't try too hard? Well, you'd have a terrific chance. I mean, you're smart, you're funny, you have a cool job, you build stuff that goes into outer space. I guess. No, look, I'm telling you, I've known you for like a year and a half, and this is the first time I feel like I'm talking to a real person. And you know what? I like him. He's a nice guy. You really think so? Yes. I don't know. No, I do. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. The way I see it, I'm halfway to pity sex. <laughs> <laughs>